Hi, I'm, I'm Willard Olasson from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. <coughs> I, uh, I wore glasses as a, as a young person, and uh, or, or my age, I guess I should tell you, is 70 years old. Uh, about 12, 15 years ago, I, uh, I uh, had laser to, so that I wouldn't have to wear glasses, and that worked, uh, uh, for the time being anyway. And uh, uh, I, I pr proceeded without glasses for many years. I didn't. I never did wear glasses actually. Uh, then when I went in for a checkup uh, some years later, uh, I had uh, a cataract removed, and that was about a little less than a year ago. When I was having the cataract removed, they noticed uh, uh, something in the back of my eye that didn't didn't seem quite right. So I went to a few specialists in Canada, and I went to the Mayo Clinic. Um, just backing up a little bit. I, I was starting to develop, uh, and, and it seemed to get worse, uh, night driving problems, uh, glare, uh, and I was I was all, always pretty good with reading. Anyway, after the uh, cataract uh, surgery, I uh, went to the Mayo Clinic, and they diagnosed my eyes as um, three issues. Um, they said that 50% of my problem was keratoconus, about... Uh, um, 20% of my problem was macular pucker, which is a, a little film in the back of the eye, and about 30% was um, um, my aeon, which is a, 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 a pallor of the optic nerve. Uh, I'm not sure myself whether that part caused a vision issue, but that's just how the lady that examined me at the Mayo put it. So I, uh, I went to my doctor and he mentioned that my Canadian doctor said whatever you do, uh, don't treat your keratoconus in America, in the US or Canada. He said uh, you must go to Germany, England, the UK or, um, or, uh, or India. Uh, I went on the internet and did some research of the various doctors in the various countries and I, myself I found Dr. Walkler and just kind of reasoned it out and it seemed to make sense what he was doing and went back t to my doctor who was on holidays in Australia we talked to him and he said I was, I was spending too much time on the internet um, I uh, didn't exactly like that answer even though he's a personal friend and I said um, I said to his girl you know I think you should do some research and here's what I found and uh, I, I found out about the, the three treatments which seemed to apply to me actually and that, that was where you start with Intax, where you do the CK and where you do the CR3 and uh, so then my doctor's girl did some research they came back to me and said yes it looks like he knows what he's doing uh, go ahead and go there so I made an appointment I also checked some references and I was satisfied that or I thought I was satisfied anyway with uh, with, with Dr. Red Boxer Wackler. Uh, so I proceeded yesterday, uh, August 22nd, I guess, so it, uh, to have these three procedures done. Uh, it was, uh, as they said, relatively painless, pretty straightforward. Happened in two different rooms in a nice office surrounding. Uh, I, I should mention prior to that, I, I had an appointment. They did a bunch of checkups and they agreed that I should have these procedures. Anyway, yesterday I went ahead and had them and uh, uh, you, um, you were, you double checked with my vision. I was put in a room where they did the, uh, the Intax and the CK treatment and uh, that took about, let's say for argument's sake, a half an hour. And then I was moved over to uh, another room where they did the uh, uh, the CR3, which is a uh, alternate uh, brushing of, of a liquid on a uh, robe of flavor, I think it is, and uh, and the, uh, the the bright light kind of thing. So that uh, I, just to explain it in layman terms, uh, the, the topography of my eye was wrong, and this um, uh, the first treatment they put putting the Intax in uh, the. And, and by the way, this was with both eyes, uh, my right eye being the worst. It having the three diseases, my left eye only the keratoconus. So I, uh, 
they put the Intex in the uh, a thicker one for the right eye because of the uh, worse condition and thinner for the left eye. Then uh, after that, they make a probe, a probe around, which I believe helps also smoothen out the topography. And then the, uh, the last treatment hardens that all into place so that you, you improve your vision and you harden it in place so that it doesn't get worse again. Uh, right now I can see quite well. I have 20-25 vision one day after the operation. The doctor was pleased with the results. He, he gave me some pictures of the before and after topography and explained that to me. Not only does he take lower the, the high parts, he raises the low parts. So it uh, ended up with a, with a good result. I